Pinch Punch. It's the first of the month for a bright and chilly market brief. Um, right, so we got energy prices, national insurance, water, council tax, postage, broadband, all the charges are set to rise as of today. We're all suffering the higher costs. Indeed, even charging the air wheel doesn't come for free. So as of Monday, FX Plu will be a pay-per-view service. They say talk is cheap, but this daily dose of diamond chat, that needs to come at a cost now, I'm afraid, and not just the emotional cost of all the terrible dad jokes actual hard-earned cash. However, if you win the sweepstake, you'll get a month for free, so it's really everything to play for this month. Um, apart from that, there are no real breaks to a really rather gloomy outlook at the moment. Um, the British Chamber of Commerce were on yesterday. Um, they have reported 62% of UK businesses uh, expect to increase their prices in Q2 as uh, raw material supplies and spare parts are still uh, challenging. Um, and of course, the wider cost base is still rising. Uh, we're warned of a pretty significant slump in activity across Q2, but the key question is whether or not that'll extend into Q3. Uh, while a recession does remain a very real risk, it's not actually the expected outcome for many economists. So perhaps we'll manage to avoid that. Um, in the market, there are suggestions that sterling may lose more ground against the dollar as the two economies diverge. Um, this is a slightly longer term outlook uh, and it will need global risk appetite to settle down a bit though. Uh, and in turn, of course, that will need uh, an end to the war in Ukraine. Um, for now though, uh, sterling fell to a low of 131 uh, just over 135 again, uh, sorry, 131 against the dollar, um, and we open around 118.65 against the euro. Uh, and over in the US, Biden's doing his bit to help with the energy price play. Uh, he signed off an extra million barrels of oil a day to be released from the strategic reserve. Um, closer to a token gesture in the grander scheme of things, but every little helps. Uh, but today is all about non-farm payrolls and that sweepstake. And the stakes are even higher with that free subscription on the cards. Good morning. So pay attention. Quick recap of the week's employment data. ADP, private sector employment, um, that was forecast at 450,000 private sector jobs. Uh, data beat forecast at 455. One for hashtag team over. Yesterday we had weekly jobless claims. They were forecast at 197, but um, that missed estimate coming in at 202 for hashtag team under. So then non-farm payrolls, the main event. We're forecast at 490,000 new jobs this month. I'm slightly more bullish than that. I'll be leading the charge for hashtag team over. Put me down for 575. Drop your bid in the comments below, please, if you want to play along. And you'll see your name in lights when the whizzy little graphic uh, is released after the data drops at around 1.30. Just remember, though, it is the first of the month, so it's had a very, very little lead in. So almost anything can happen with the headline number. And indeed, it is the 1st of April, no less. So who knows? Some mug might even get their cash out for an FX Plus subscription. April Fool! If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Plus.